Hi everybody, Captain Camper here with a uh, review of the Coletti Bozeman 9 cup coffee percolator. Kind of hard to get a nice picture on it there, but uh, it's stainless steel. I believe that's a glass uh, percolator top on it. And the hinge seems okay with a little wooden grip on it. And then it comes with your standard percolator basket. Uh, this will be my third pot of coffee to make with it, learning as we go. So I've already filled it with nine uh, cups of water, or nine, yeah, nine cups according to their line. That's the maximum. Then you just drop the stem in, drop the basket. Um, it comes with some of the flat filters, a little package of flat filters. You can pick those up at the store to replace. I, the first one I didn't use them. A lot of uh, a lot of coffee grounds into my cups of coffee. Um, second one I used it. I still got coffee grounds, but I boiled it too much. So I've been using four scoops of coffee. I'm doing a different brand. I've been doing four scoops of Maxwell House. This is McCafe regular coffee. So when I made my second batch of coffee, I boiled it on high. The instructions say boil it on like medium high. I think the water, you can see where that's the nine, just to the bottom of the basket. With it boiling on high, I think the water boiled too much and made the coffee grounds go over the edge. And put the filter on top, close the lid. I put it offset on my burner because of the wooden handle a little bit. And then that's back left corner on high. I'll start on high for a little bit and then um, when it starts to boil I'll turn it down to medium high. So I won't make you watch water boil, that's awful fun. I'll be back in a moment. Alright, I uh, ran the temperature on high for about five minutes and then when I heard the water just starting to simmer I cranked it down to, I guess that's about medium high. It's been about 13 minutes and you can see it's just starting to percolate and when it starts off percolating it's uh, clear water and it'll steadily turn darker and darker. The instructions recommend seven to ten minutes. Um, a percolating time depending how strong you'd like it. I've been using seven minutes so I'll start the timer. Now it's really percolating and uh, crank it down just a smidgen more and we'll be back in about seven minutes. Okay, there's seven minutes. Uh, you can see it's percolating pretty good. Um, I had to turn the temperature down a bit more. It was actually spilling out of the edge here, um, so it was boiling a little too much. And I think because of that, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, you can see some grounds popping up there in the top. So I have a feeling we're going to have a little bit of grounds in our coffee. But we'll take it off. But I think the real secret is when you're making it, you might use high to get the water just to boil, but as soon as it boils, really turn it down just to keep it percolating. Because if it boils too much, the water's going to come up through the basket and push the grounds out. If you drink your coffee black, 
you may not even notice, but let's see. A little creamer in there. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm not seeing any grounds in my coffee now. Maybe the last couple will be kind of thick, but uh, that worked out pretty well. The overall time, uh, 5202, oh, it took about, uh, about 20, 22 minutes from uh, start to finish. So, of course, the coffee is super, super hot. It's a little bit stronger than I normally like it. Um, that's the first time with that brand and uh, it's a learning curve as you try it but uh, overall I've liked all the coffee I've had from it. So that's my review of the uh, Coletta Bozeman uh, stainless steel 9 cup percolator. Thanks for watching we'll see you at the campground. One last thought uh, on the coffee maker. It is just this stainless steel, so it's not going to keep the coffee warm very long. It's a little trick now. Once the burner cools down, you can kind of set it back on the burner, or partially on the burner. As the burner cools down, it'll you know slowly keep the coffee a little warm for a little while. You might get a insulated carafe to pour the coffee in. And then, of course, the other thing, whether you do this with your drip maker or not, Yes, yeah, I had a bunch of uh, grounds go up and on top. Whether you want to take that out when it cools down a little bit or uh, leave it in. Of course, if you leave it in, the oils from the grounds will continually season your coffee. Um, if you don't want your coffee quite as strong, you might take that out uh, after it cools down a little bit. Um, otherwise, leave it in and dump it out in the end. Once again, uh, thanks for watching, catchcamper.com, and uh, we'll see you at the campground.